the wag is giving birth. Which is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> wow, that blue one on the bottom. Ooh, baby. It's actually very, very simple, and this is a really good way Great. I'm walking out the door, 6.30 a.m. I shouldn't have even come in here. The wag is giving birth. All right, so she's giving birth. I'm gonna show you a quick video. Then we're gonna skip down all babies. There's a gorgeous blue baby down here at the bottom. Another baby right here. I wish I could stay and film her birthing, but I, look, there's a baby up there. But I have to get out of here. I'm getting ready to walk out the door for the whole day. Oh, there's a baby up there. Why you gotta do this now, Snake? Oh, there's a baby in the branch by her face. Look at it curled up, so amazing. I pulled the mail because he ate a couple babies last time. Wow, that blue one on the bottom is so great. There's one right here. There's a bunch. They all look super healthy. I'm gonna spray down this cage. She's got a ways to go. We're gonna have a lot of babies this time, guys. This is super, super exciting. And it's actually 6.30 in the morning. Okay. I was going to close the door and I spotted another one right there. Oh gosh. This will have to wait till I get home. Taylor and I will probably pull them together. All right guys, so this morning you saw that video that when I walked in the snake room, our waggler eye was giving birth again, which is absolutely incredible. And it's um, always when you're going to work. Yeah, it is, like I'm walking out the door, boom, baby's hitting the floor, and guess what? This is actually the second year in a row that this pair of wagglers has given birth to for us. Uh, and she was right in the middle. You can see her back end was really big. There was babies all over. And so real quick before I left, importantly, I pulled the male, uh, Mantis. He is not a very good dad. Last year, he actually ended up eating one of the babies. And, and I was frantic because you were at work. <laughs> yeah, she walked in and he was wolfing it down, swallowing it whole. So <laughs> I pulled him. And people might ask, hey, why, why don't you pull him way before she has birth? Well, number one, she gave birth a month early this time. She birthed in September last year. She birthed in August this year. Um, so why I don't pull him is because the parameters in this terrarium here are perfect for him. He has thrived in here for years and years with her. And the chance of him eating a baby or two are totally worth keeping him healthy to me. So if I were to set him up in his own little temporary tank, he gets stressed. Wagglers are notoriously difficult snakes to keep and they're also very, very sensitive. And then the males are even more sensitive and difficult to keep on top of that. He's and hard to come by. And very hard to find. We've had him for years now. He's well established. Um, he is a fantastic snake. He's quadruple. I mean, he was a little tiny green thing. He's a big, healthy adult male wagglers. So let's pull them babies and see how cute they are. 
Yeah, so she counted 11. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna pull the 11 babies. Tonight we're just gonna put them in this temporary setup because I was gone all day. So we're gonna put them right here. Um, give them a little bit of soak because they're kind of gooey looking. Tomorrow I'll be back in here with you guys when we're not as tired. We're gonna pull the female and then we're gonna find the rest of the babies and he's gonna stay out until we find everybody. Because no more, you are a bad little dad. He's like, he's like child support, watch this. <laughs> he's always hungry like Toby. Where's her head? Oh. Yeah, watch her, she's up oh, ah! Is she trying to eat you? No, look, the leaf just up right. against a glass and start falling. Okay, you found one over there. Hold on, let me, I got an idea. I'll bring the bucket in close and you can just scoop it in. Okay, so you're awkward. Oh, ah, ah! Is he, is he striking? Look at him, oh my God, how this guy's doing? Oh my God, that was ridiculous. That was so cute, I wish they would bite me and I'd be fine. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat the leaf, you little f it. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here, you want a second hook? You bit the hook. They're bitey for like a week and then they turn into those docile snakes on her. Oh. One. These things are like Velcro on the branches. They're actually a lot harder to get off branches than it looks like. Two. Hold on, wait. Let me focus on. Perfect. Little male. Ooh. Three. Is that an Insularis? I know, doesn't it look like it look like patternless? That is, ooh, baby. There He's drop an ice in. green. Four. Right, four? Four. Good job, go slow. Five, right? Five, Five. Yeah. Look at that, a whole cluster of four or five? We'll pull them out and count. Six. Annoying. Yeah, especially when they're high. I know, too short for it. Why are they solid blue? Why are they always patterns? Oh, come on, don't all run at the same time. Seven. Eight. Aren't they just so cute? I don't know. We're parents again. Don't you jump for that one? No. So you gotta find number 11. I okay. saw, I now that I found that one, I saw his 11th over here. Earlier. They blend him so nicely with the green under, like, plants. There's leaf somewhere. I saw like the little yellow tail sticking out. Mm -hmm. White. I saw one in here. Where'd it go? Okay guys, we're trying to find number 11. We're literally, was, we're literally herping in our snake shed. Okay, this is just annoying me now. Rhett, do you want the better herper to find it for you? No, I don't. Oh, Lotus, you look so beautiful, baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's like, if I go up here, will she? All right, so we okay, found Okay, guys, it. that took us, you know, three <laughs> hours. Just kidding, it took three minutes. So what we did to find is I started misting because misting gets the babies very, very active. So she had about 13 live babies last year, except the male ate one. And she had 11 this year, so All not right. bad. All right, number 11, we did it. We found the wall. Final 11. So let's get to feeding them, get to feeding mom, soaking everyone, and get their little and cages set up. We'll also do an update on last year's babies. Oh my God, we gotta do that too. <laughs> How do you do that, Snakey? Look at that, guys. The mom coming down. A little gecko. She's always so swollen after giving babies. I always feel like she has stuff left in her. She's so beautiful, Lotus. I love you. I picked you out like six years ago. We gotta give her. She some was just credit a tiny too. little baby, and I was like, I don't know what how to pick this out. We but gotta give her credit for being awesome because she does all the work. She gets and she the hemi peens in her. She survived in with us learning how to care for wagglers, and she made it through all of our mistakes. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, we have now pulled these babies and they're in these bioactive tubs. Uh, so I pulled them, gave them a quick soak and set up these tubs. And I'm gonna show you how I do it real quick. It's actually very, very simple. And this is a really good way to keep these little babies healthy.
attractive tubs. They're kind of like a, a rough draft. The tubs that the last year's babies are in are really beautiful. Let me show you those real quick. And that is what these tubs are gonna look like very shortly. So once these babies have soaked, now they're set up in the tubs, we are gonna go ahead and feed them. And this is gonna be their first meal, which is very, very exciting. Once they get their first meal and start rolling, uh, that's like the most exciting part for me. It's like, wow, these babies are established and they're getting ready to go. I hope they eat as good as the swans did. They will never eat as <laughs> good as me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are gonna start out feeding some of these baby wagglers. We're gonna give them little tiny pinky parts. Look at that. Oh, that wasn't planned, but you know what? He jumped out and ate it. Now I'm actually gonna let him eat it and then bring him back in. And that's kind of the reason I leave them together. They feed so much better when they're in these little groups. When you have them separated, they don't feel as comfortable, and I'm not really sure why. A lot of little vipers in the wild will hang together. So now that we fed those guys, are you guys ready to see last year's babies? They're so much bigger. They are. All right, let's, let's feed show them. you guys. Let's feed them. All right. Okay. I don't know. All right. So here is uh, some of the bioactive tubs that we have the babies in. Let's uh, let's, let's give them a feed. Let's check them out. Oh my God, they're so they're going big. Into shed again. This one is so blue still. I know. They are so much bigger than the baby. Yeah, they've been doing awesome. They can eat the babies. Do you think the blue ones will stay blue? I have no idea what they're Even gonna that do. green ones are beautiful though. So first, uh, before feeding the wagglers, we always give them a quick spritz. A lot of times it causes them to defecate. It also kind of wakes them up. Wake them up with a couple pinches to the tail. Ooh, what's tickling my butt? things are so beautiful. This is one of the green colored babies from last year. Just like the last one, give it a little bit of water. See if it starts drinking. Don't want to get it too invested in that drink. It's hard to switch them back over to food time.
So unfortunately, some of these males, their um, feeding response is not very strong. So what we have to do is assist feed them. It's got to be gentle because their necks are super delicate. Yes, ease it right into their mouth like that. Once they grab it, look at that. I stick it in their mouth, I set them on the branches, and he just goes to town. It's super easy. It saves a lot of headache of teasing and bapping them in the face and potentially stressing out the snake. Look at that. Pretty big meal, but it's okay. Look, the other male's coming in like, hey, you got food? There it goes, look at that. Probably the biggest one. This was a chunk. Look at that. There we go. They use these white tails as caudal lures. So when something touches that tail, it often makes them think, ooh, who's biting my tail? Is there a frog there? Aha, there's not a frog. There's a juicy little mouse playing with your tail, buddy. Good job. All right guys, we hope you had an awesome time hanging out with us and meeting our really cool vipers. So make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell thing. All right, we'll see you next time.